Hello, everybody. Welcome uh, to this discussing is Drake the... and Ty, yeah. and welcome to discussing the universe with Drake and and Ty. That's me. I'm Ty. Um, so today's topic is our first topic, and it's discussing the human condition. We have a few notes that uh, and or plot points that we want to get out of the way. Yes, just and a few things. After that, it's going to be very simple, just discussing our topics even more. Yes, yes, yes. Yep. So, why don't you start us off, Drake? Me start us off. Of well, I mean, I can start okay. off too, but you know. Uh, all right. So, our first point that apparently we have to discuss is we are not exactly the best people to discuss this topic. Okay, we so we are seniors. Our, experi- our experience discussing the human condition is about is about maybe like consistent of a point zero 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 one percent of you know our lives probably less so just know that everything we say here i mean you should take it as fact because we're like super cool or whatever but um probably probably shouldn't just a little life advice there yes um um I actually, I was slightly fascinated with the human condition yeah. back when I was a sophomore, and I don't know why. Why, yeah. Yeah, I would literally just, I literally just observed everyone around me, because I didn't have that many friends, so I felt like it was my duty or whatever to just yeah. record what people were saying how they said it and like mm-hmm. how people were feeling you know some people would call that being a psychopath some people would but i call it being a humanitarian <laughs> what's the difference oh shoot we make it suit stop talking <laughs> no this is very this is a very serious topic this is a very yeah. incredibly serious podcast where we discuss only of the utmost important topics. First episode, we got to make a good impression. You know, clearly yeah. everything we say is with complete seriousness. Every topic yeah, we course. cover has been recommended and looked over by geniuses all across Instagram. And we use terms very strictly and not loosely at all. Nope. Why, why would we? Okay. All right. So, in, in other news... um. What, even, what is... even is the human condition? Wowzers. Yeah, wow. It's almost like we're reading off of some bullet points. L- like a off script of a we made doc. two days ago, yeah. <laughs> like that we shared to each other. That How would be weird. crazy wacky. Anyway, um, I'm on the most oh. trusted I'm on the most trusted internet um, informational mm-hmm. site ever, Wikipedia. Um, yeah, I got it. Teachers everywhere love it. Now, the, de- the definition is the human condition is all of the characteristics and key events that compose the essentials of human existence, including birth, growth, emotion, aspiration, conflict, and mortality. This is a very broad topic which has been and continues to be pondered, not pondered, pondered and analyzed from many perspectives, including those of religion, philosophy, history, art, literature, anthropology, psychology, and biology. As a literary term, the human condition is typically used in the context of ambiguous subjects such as the meaning of life or moral concerns. However, those are on different podcasts that you can listen to later. That's right, baby. Okay, so now um, now that we've defined the human condition, um, I can safely say that um, I don't understand how people could have possibly like taken so long to figure out the human condition it's not very complicated it's it's just there it's very simplistic okay and we here on this podcast are here to answer all of your questions about the human condition that's right all of them we understand every single one we get it we know what you're asking all right so what was the first question again i okay um it was something about Something about things happening and and stuff, Perhaps. which is, that's it. That's the human condition. That's, it's sometimes, things sometimes, happen. sometimes life sometimes, happens. Yeah. Yeah. Life just exists. Yep. But, but it's important. It's important, you know, you know, uh, what we do with our existence. Okay. Okay. We're going to yeah. get, we're going to, I'm going to, I'm about to solve all your psychological, therapeutical 
questions, okay? Are you about to read the bullet point that I put down? I'm about to read the bullet point. <laughs> that I put uh, down. Um, All right. Go ahead. But it's what we do about life that defines who we are. <laughs> Look at that. Look wow. at that. We did it. We, we solved we the solved human what a simple what a get out of here question. plato socrates <laughs> y'all of y'all were fools none what of you it, saw what, it you know I, I i i understand now why like why like greece and stuff like 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 failed okay and inferior to the <laughs> americas because here in america we understand these things okay they oh simply God. just cannot comprehend okay <laughs> I simply cannot comprehend <laughs> our knowledge on these topics, okay? Um, <laughs> Holy Roman Empire? More like, no, it's gone. It never actually existed. We don't... Did you know we have actually no proof that anything ever happened? I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Were you in the past? I don't think so. I don't, I don't think you were there. Wait, wait, wait. Reincarnation is a different topic. R- remember... We, Remember, we can't, we can't, we can't, we're given, we can't, we can't, I can't talk about anything anymore. We're, we're bombshelling I'm, a bunch of future episodes. I'm, I'm so restricted by the shackles we it's, have been put on by our fan base. It's six bullet points. Calm down. No, it's so, I can't say anything. Okay. <sighs> Next right. bullet point. Why must this be such a serious question? Okay. I honestly, so, like, like you mentioned, it, it has to be because in ancient Greek and Roman times, I think it's literally because they had nothing better to do except to <laughs> think. So they were like, "What is a human?" Right? And then they're, and then they'll, they'll be like, "Well, I'm a human," but then they'll think, "What makes me a human?" And that is why, you know, that's the question: What makes you human? Yeah, but like at the same time, they were there were these like deep think- thinkers yeah. who like thought about everything, and then they also believed that magic man threw lightning from the sky. Okay, magic he man took the literal thunderbolts, and he threw them at people. Magic man is weird. All right, magic man, the, the Zeus guy, kind of sucks. Just gonna say it. And Zeus, if okay, you, so if I know you that I know that the listen. Roman, I know I know the Romans stole all the gods or whatever, but like. What's the equivalent to Zeus? Is there one? I'm not exactly caught up on my Roman culture. No, I think it's just Zeus still. Or really? Here. So they just they didn't even bother bootlegging it. They just stole it. Well, you know how it's like Chinese ripoffs, right? Yeah. I think I think it's like close. I have I have some I went to like a oh, Chinatown oh, wait. somewhere. It's Jupiter. It's Jupiter? it's Jupiter. Oh, I think it's Jupiter. I think it's Father Jupiter. and ruler of the gods of Mount Olympus, god of the sky and lightning. Okay. Yeah, that's just that, it's literally same just guy. Loose. Same guy. It's the same person. Okay. So, I, w- I wonder of, how that even happens, you know? Like if you want to go basically under the same religion, right? How do you get Zeus from Jupiter or Jupiter from Zeus? It's not even the same amount of syllables. Not the same. Yeah, spelling. but I'll, I'll admit, Jupiter is does sound kind of cool. Okay, yes, Jupiter sounds cool, and yes, it is the biggest planet in our solar system. But how do you mess up that translation, like at all? You know? Also, I, I I've been thinking, I've been thinking. You know how you know how they're like the gas giants or whatever, and they're comprised mostly of gas, right? Okay. Yes, that's why so, they're called gas giants, Drake. Yes. Yeah. Can I just say? Can I just no. say my point, please? Okay. Yes. No? Yes, you can okay. say your point. So. Why isn't why when we measure like the length of the earth don't we include our atmosphere? I think if it's just the that's gas That's a good question actually. Um a, how, if and if we don't include the atmosphere, how big is Jupiter really? Then that would make Jupiter just its core, which I have no idea. I don't even know. I'm not an, I'm not an astronomer. I think it's because Astrology, I, what are those zodiac signs? The, the white girls on Instagram keep telling me why they're so important. I just, I just don't get it, man. I don't know, but I think it's um it's more along the lines of like different planet classifications, because um we have we're mostly made of rock and water. Oh, so it's like you know? majority. Yeah, so it's like we're mostly rock, and on the other hand, Jupiter and Saturn, Neptune and Uranus and all those guys, those are comprised mostly of gas. 
I think, yeah, yeah. I think that's that two different categories, you know? I get it. Yeah. 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 Okay. We were talking about something. Oh, ages ago, I, we were talking about, we were talking about bootlegs. I was in, um, I was in like a, I was like a Chinatown once somewhere. Some, I actually don't remember. I was young. Like an And I, I bought, I got some, I got some like bootleg, um, Pokemon cards. Oh my God. Did you use And they them? like, I, when, when I played sometimes, yes. And <laughs> there were two types of the bootlegs. There was one type of bootleg where they just photocopied the Pokemon cards and they just made the the health like they just multiplied it by like 10 Dude, so like that'd be sick Imagine the portal would have like 300 health roll up to your pokemon tournament with a squirrel <laughs> with 300 but health. yeah it's but it's not as funny as as the ones where they just they just they just scanned a pokemon card and they just like changed the artwork to a different pokemon and like changed the name so it was like so you have blastoise like a- <laughs> evolves from psyduck <laughs> Dude, and best me- type. mega evolution. Mega evolution is just bootleg. Yo, Dude, the Chinese scientists found a way to evolve a Psyduck <laughs> into a Blastoise. Man, what has science done? Wacky. What is too far? But you know a- what science hasn't figured out? The human condition. You know what? We have figured out the human the hum- condition. We are smartest. What's better, us or science? We're the smartest humans on the planet, very obviously. Well, we'll leave that up to interpretation. No, that's a fact. Anyway, uh, yeah. sh- what's next sh- on wink, the list? Wink, wink, wink. Ah, fine, um, I'll blink at the audience. Blink. It's like a double wink, man. Yeah, I've winked um, twice, so it cancels the first one out. Our last the final bu- bullet point. I was oh, fine, you read it. That. I've read the rest. Okay. I read the rest. No, no, it's fine. You well, I mean, it. I've done some, but it, it's fine. Just say right. the words. Wh- wh- why? Come on. Come on, you can do it. C- can't. Why can't we? Come on. <clears throat> why can't we exist without questioning everything? That in itself is a question. So it is actually. I guess it's just human nature, because. You know what else? Like back, like like I said, philosophers back in the day. What else were they gonna do? You know, except think. So now they just make all these questions. But I'd say I, it's. I mean, they could have like contributed to their to to their nation. I mean, I guess they did in that. They way. did in that way, yeah. But why? Why? I mean, I know we still have philosophers in quotation marks, but you never hear anyone talking about like I don't know. Like, like new everyone's always ideas. like Socrates or something. There's not a lot of modern it's, it's philosophers. I think it's because the philosophers realize that those guys already figured everything out, or at mm. least laid the groundwork above everything in the unknown. So if you did discover something unknown or like quote unquote unknown, another quote unquote philosopher. No, no, not with it. I'm quotes. losing track of the quotes here. Okay, yeah, I'll take the previous like. Okay. <laughs> If you discovered something quote unquote unknown, another philosopher would probably just say, Oh, but that relates back to Socrates' point when he said this or something like that, or in oh, this okay. work by this poet from Ireland so or something. We have literally we have literally asked every single conceivable question. Pretty much. <laughs> yeah. That's why we've ran out of philosophical questions. It's like So here uh, I'm gonna ask a question that's not a bullet point. That's why we left. Where do we go from point. here? You know, that's a Minecraft achievement, and I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know where we go from here? We discuss the universe with Drake and Ty. That's what we do, and that... that's what we're here to do. Yeah. Uh... Oh, I think I think this is actually in disguise. Our first episode was was a good explanation as to why we're doing this, okay? That's true. Uh, yeah. Philosophers, they haven't asked enough questions about the important things in life, such as, I'm gonna not i'm gonna censor this out i'm gonna censor this out because we're not spoiling anything we're not spoiling anything we can spoil we can spoil one of the most important questions and one of the most heavily suggested um ideas that we we were supposed to talk about it is the simple fact that Mm -hmm. the sun is, is lame is lame um, yep, it's it's an important yep, question. You guys really wanted to know why topic. the sun is flame. 
So, um, yeah. I'll most likely be next episode, yeah? Probably. How long have you been talking for? We've been talking for... Wow, we've been talking for about 20 minutes. Look at that. Okay. Yeah. Let's keep going for a while. Yeah. Um, what so else? now we can do free form. We, we just talk about things. No restrictions anymore. Yeah. I feel freed. Well, I mean, Finally, the bullet points were so... It Terrible. was six bullet points. Good lord. I remember back in Vietnam when the bullet points were coming after me, and I was like, man, that's scary, man. I didn't realize that, you know, yeah. Vietnam squad teams were named bullet points. I never. Yeah, they were. It was, it was wow. really weird. I... And they also, like, whenever they would approach me, they would just start listing things off. And if I ever said anything that was outside of that list, they'd, they'd be like, shoot you. Kind of cringe, bro. Oh. Man, that was traumatizing. Mm. I'm so sorry that that happened to you. I never... Yeah. Wow. I will be more considerate from now on. Of course, yeah. We yeah. can use hyphens instead. Oh, that, that's fine. That's fine. I had a few I had a few hyphen homies, as as they call them, ah. uh, back in the day. Wait, um, what's that make me if I'm not a bullet point or a bullet bro or a hyphen homie? You're an underline. Dang. Because you emphasize things. I think that's what they do. Punctuation marks are weird. Dude. I mean, I'm, I'm just going to talk about them for like a tiny bit. We can have like a full episode on that. I but guess. Okay, like, go. I know a semicolon is like meant to transition into a different subject, but that's just that's just a new sentence. It's just an yeah. excuse to make run-on sentences. If you put a semicolon in there, it's like, bam, no longer a run-on sentence. English teachers got tired of putting periods down, so they invented the semicolon. <laughs> I guess we could talk also, about why English punctuation is weird. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh. Um No, you go. What? No, no, you go. Oh, okay. Uh so for those of you in the audience who possibly don't know, um we're seniors in high school and we just got out of our sixth period today. Yeah. And my fifth period is my English class and my English teacher, Mr. B, He's uh he's pretty he's a pretty chill guy, not that intimidating, very intimidating. But <laughs> um he he did something that kind of like it set off sophomore year ties like instincts and it was mm -hmm. and it was like this this vibe where he was calling on people to do like a DOL which is like um you correct punctuation All and right. and i had this and i had this feeling that like i'm gonna get called on but i wanted to like resist and mr bullington literally said don't resist ty it's your turn and i'm like did you just read my mind and he was like we communicated telepathically ty so i'm pretty sure he's some kind of eldritch beast um you know, um, maybe maybe your maybe your aura just radiates so strongly like all that the way to the like school. Yeah, really. Okay. But like, but like through the the technology is is a way to connect all of us. Okay. I, I'm more used so, to people responding to my aura when I can see them like with my eyes instead of across. Well, we live screen. in a new age. Welcome to the 21st I century, hate, where people can sense your aura from across the screen. It's by, very freaky. By Aura Tech today. This this <laughs> podcast was sponsored by Aura Tech. That might be Who a real... Who is Aura Tech, you may ask? Hasn't been invented yet. You'll have about another 50 years. Yeah. Uh, okay, so, um... Speaking of buying Aura Tech, um... Sponsorships. Uh, I've I think been seeing a lot more of them recently. Oh, but well, I just have one question: who actually, who actually watches an ad or like a sponsor and goes like, you know what? I really, really want enough to buy that product. Enough people I've, where I've never, heard, I've never, yeah, I've never seen anyone say they like ads, but like people are have to be buying them, right? Yeah, th otherwise what, people would stop sponsoring. Phantom, phantom buyers. It's just people who watch an ad and they're like, wow, I that product looks cool or that app looks nice. Maybe I'll sign in with this person's code, you know? And then I that see. tells the creator, oh, hey, they bought this with my code. Um, I get paid, right? Because I think sponsorships, yeah. it's either you get paid like a little sum of money to actually do the ad and then if people buy your product 
there's like a threshold, and if you pass that threshold, you get paid more. So well, that's, that's a good. That's a good deal. Some yeah. of the deals are just like, just give the money, and that's it. Yeah. Um, I think that was the. I think that was supposed to be how it was for Raid Shadow Legends, but then like I heard some yeah. very weird drama going on how they weren't paying anybody. So that's why we don't back see them when, anymore. Back when Jontron was advertising Raid Shadow Legends, I think he still is actually. Uh, I actually was like, you know what? Because Jontron endorsed it, I will. I will just look into it. So that's so I did, the mentality. I didn't, spend, I didn't spend any money though. I didn't. Right, but, so, but that's the mentality, you know. The game doesn't even. I I get it. I guess, but like the game doesn't even have any ads, so I didn't even contribute to anything. Game wasn't very good, by the way. But, the whole uh, revolutionary new stuff is a total lie. It's just a really boring RPG. I believe me, I was I'm very aware. I never downloaded Raid Shadow Legends. I could see it for what it was from the <laughs> beginning. That's my special ability. No, it, I mean maybe it is. I don't know. I don't judge you don't, people you don't here, know except who when I, I do. Am. You judge people a lot. Yeah, that's why I said except when I do. There's an exception. Which is There's all a little the asterisk time. there. Speaking it, of asterisks, um, oh back god. to punctuation. Oh my god! See, look, look what I did. I Full saw what you did. There. I was gonna do that like two nope, lines too later. Late. Oh too god. late. I was gonna asterisks is um is is an all purpose tool. Okay, but what I'm wondering is is that it's only ever used in like legal stuff, right? Or like yeah, pretty much only legal stuff in like tiny notes. So I want to know who was the first person who made the asterisks. What was it? What was its intended purpose? I assume that because I use it um, when I misspell a word, I okay. after the message I rewrite the word correctly and put an asterisk next to it. That works. Yeah, but like I feel like it's not a professional punctuation mark. If you get what I mean, like if I put it on the N S A T, it's not gonna yeah. look good. That's true. It's more like a like a punctuation slang kind of yeah you hear what i'm saying yeah i you, get what you're saying you you're picking up what i'm putting down what are there what other punctuation slangs are there besides like asterisk the semicolon <laughs> no semicolon is actually you're allowed to use that it's like it's, it's like the cool uncle uh yeah i say i say backslashes Backsl because instead of instead true. of using the word or you just put a dash into it, which I like better, because or Actually, can sometimes get confusing and th stuff. That's another thing. Forward slashes. When do you see a forward slash used? Um, backslashes just look so much more aesthetically pleasing. Probably because the English is written uh, left to right. Left to right. Yeah. So we, our eyes look at the tiny little thing at the bottom and go up, and it's like, wow, that looks so nice. And when we see the forward slash, we're like, what is this? Well, I mean, why can't you just what start from the top garbage? and go down? In that case, that's what the forward slash is. Mm -hmm. Um, so how do we relate this all back to the human condition? The uh, I was gonna talk about respect among people. Oh, yeah. That that that's pretty good transition. I th I think it's pretty good too. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> respect among individuals, uh, I believe, is extremely is an extremely important piece of the human condition and being human. Um, because to be human is to be sociable, and to be sociable requires respect. Um, Are you calling antisocial people subhuman? No, I'm calling antisocial people people who... Okay, antisocial people is a completely different topic. Because okay. like they actively avoid people. And I'm talking about like extreme antisocial like literally, I get, if I, 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 if I no, see a I human it. who isn't my family member, I will break out in song and a soliloquy about how sad I am to see that. They wouldn't even do that because that, like, that, like, that draws attention. You're right. Attention to them, yeah. Okay. Anyway, off topic, but like to be sociable requires respect because if you don't respect people and their ideas or beliefs, um, they won't respect you, which means that you won't be sociable with them, which means you're cutting yourself out of that social, like, main mainframe. Ew, I sound like a genius. No, but, you do sound like a genius. And I was going to say, so, that you make a good point where, like, respect is, like, the foundation of, like, world peace, basically. Pretty much, If yeah. everyone just respected each other and we, how they felt, we wouldn't maybe we problems. wouldn't be killing each other. 
That would be nice. That's why we need to change everything to archery with blunt arrows. <laughs> and and war is just like a free for all, or not like a free for all, but like a team just versus a fun, team well, for sport. Come on, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. it's like paintball. <laughs> <laughs> Whoever survives okay, like, okay. at the end. Like, the Cold War is just like you know what we can't take this anymore. You want to get want to have a little airsoft game to decide which <laughs> which airsoft. system is better. <laughs> Just Kennedy Airsoft. Um, <laughs> Kennedy Airsoft. Oh god, we should cut that out. Okay, so oh, imagine, Lord. imagine if like some guy was trying to assassinate someone, but he just he just used <laughs> an airsoft gun, and he was like, "Guys, it was just a prank, guys. Just what do you do prank. in that situation?" I, like if I, it was an if it was an actual gun, it would have killed him. Yeah, like the airsoft bullet hit him. So what is the what is the punishment in that scenario? I'd say attempted murder. But like he's not even attempting the murder. He's just attempting to shoot an air, air airsoft bullet at him. Okay, dumb dumb super dumb idea. We make airsoft disturbing the indistinguishable. Peace. <laughs> That's better. Disturbing the peace is better. Um. Okay. Oh no, I'm stuck in a corner. Where do I go from this? Oh no. Okay, how was, about we loop back around? Let's break through the wall back to respect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Back to respect. Okay. When I I was talking about how okay, you go. Okay. Actually you you had a thought going. I had a thought, you're right. Never mind. Yeah. Never mind. I'm taking it. It's too yeah, late. Take it. The no, generosity. I'm giving is gone. it back to you. It's gone. I'm grabbing I'm it. The generous in my one. palms. Just keep talking. Okay. Shut up. Oh, I'm sorry, that was mean. I respected your opinion. <laughs> <laughs> um there is some sort of... I was talking about how world peace was built on a foundation of respect or whatever, mm -hmm. but what's what's the limit to how much you can respect a person? Say, for example, like, I don't know, Joseph Stalin. It's like, you, you can't exactly respect his opinions, but at the same time, shooting him in the forehead wouldn't exactly solve anything. It would solve the problem of him being alive. I think that's a pretty interesting problem. But I think um, the limit to respect would be... Wait, Drake, are you cut out? Uh-oh. Quick intermission while Drake fixes his mic, I guess. Am I allowed to do the Jeopardy music? I feel like we might get sued. Can we even get sued? Are we going to monetize this? Hi. Oh, I couldn't hear you. Oh, I could hear. I could hear. I could hear. Um, I could hear you. Oh, I think. Were you saying anything? I was having a monologue. How? Wait. When did I cut out? You cut out like right after I said Joseph Stalin. Oh. Yeah. Well, I, well, my, At least my your audio is running. Problem, yeah. I think my audio got it. I think because my green thing so. was lighting up on my okay. Discord. This video is sponsored by Discord. It's not sponsored by it's Discord. It's not sponsored by Discord. No. Discord is um, removing. Is supposedly it, they're making it less. They're more like more casual friendly. Apparently, I saw like an right. article about this where because because of quarantine and stuff, more people are gonna are drawn to like Discord as like a source to talk to other people. So wait, but Discord's like, been a not platform all of them to are gamers because Discord was originally meant for for epic gamers like us. Yeah, um, like us. So apparently they're removing a bunch of like gamer slang and stuff from like or like inside jokes from the platform to just make it more Why? uniform. And Why I for one, I I don't like that. That's it just kinda... makes Discord another corporate social media platform that's not even technically social media. That makes it like wait, still better than Zoom. Because you have like servers yeah, and stuff. still better than Zoom. But also kind of like Zoom. Yeah, but also kind of like Zoom. Also, Google why, Meets. Have you why, seen Google Meets? I've been using Google Meets actually. Um, I don't like it as my much as Zoom. Animation teacher. Yeah. He, um, Mr. L. L. L from Death Take Note. Take this L. Yeah. Two different perspectives, I guess. But yeah, he uses um, Google Meets and he was asking about using Zoom and people were like, it's pretty much the same thing. And it's not to, though. And, yeah, to be honest, it kind of is, but it's also not, because I've noticed like camera quality like shoots down, like way down on Zoom or not on Zoom on Google Meets, and I can't tell why that is. On Google Meets, um, less people appear on the screen at the same time, which is really annoying. 
Like only nine people are on the screen. Actually, the he, he has doing, a plugin like, for that that shows everybody. A, okay, if you have to do a mod to make your system better, I don't think I don't think your system works as well as a yeah. different one. That's that's like saying that's like taking like a like a calculator that can only solve two plus two and being like oh but you can modify it to make it uh, solve the equation just get, just get for a better life. calculator yeah I mean doesn't make the calculator good actually it makes I, the modifications good I'd mo I'd mod that calculator I want the answer to life that'd be neat that would be neat or I mean I actually you know have what the, answer the answer to life, to life is? we're gonna talk about it in a different the podcast human condition that's what it's <laughs> all about Whoa. searching for the meaning of life. How long has it been? I think we're out of time. I think we're up. I think uh, we're finished. It's been Finito. It's been thirty minutes. It's been yeah. a long day. One uh, final. Without you, my friend. Uh, I guess we could do one final little tidbit final. about the human yeah. condition. Uh, yeah, what you said about world peace and stuff uh, and mm -hmm. respect—it's definitely um, a difficult topic that two dudes over Discord can't do. Yeah. Um, but I'd say, like, if you wanted world peace, all problems would have to be solved. And no one can be oppressed. No one can be shot down. All ideas are relative. Um, and all discussions must be handled peacefully. So, but there's always going to there's be, always one gonna be one guy that doesn't want at least one of those things. Yeah. And don't ask me why. There's just going to be one. But person. it's important to also acknowledge that he doesn't want that kind of thing. And maybe it's important about convincing or helping him deal with the fact that it exists. That's what I think world peace should be defined as. Yeah. Or maybe what, what, our like current definition is. of world peace isn't what we should be thinking that world peace is. We keep on looking to the same answer over and over again to try and get to it, in which is everyone, everyone's happy, everyone agrees with each other all yeah. the time, and nothing wrong happens. But that but that's impossible you because you gotta look at it from a different opinions. angle. Yeah, there is a possible world peace, but we keep looking at the wrong type of world peace. Yeah, I mean, like, dude, literally, I still find it hilarious how North Korea talked to Trump. And like the first time, it was like, okay, this Trump guy seems uh, interesting. We can talk to him. And then like the fourth time, they just cut him out, in like no contact ever again. And I find that hilarious yeah. that even North Korea and like uh, Kim Jong Un, that guy, you know, that guy, no, famous, not that, not that guy, famous for certain things, um, yeah. would stop talking to Donald Trump. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> which is like. I find it so exhilaratingly funny. Just like, yeah. dude, the irony. Not like, to get too political, yeah, but that that is it is pretty funny. How, like how even badly, even like how badly do you need to screw up? Stuff. Yeah, how badly do you need to screw up that a dictator leaves you on red? But I mean, for now, at least, North Korea has kind of just left everyone alone, as far as I can remember. I'm happy with that. Yeah, I mean, I that's I fine mind. by me. They can go be their dictatorship yeah. just within their own little bubble. I mean, that's fine, sure. Maybe that's world peace. Just everybody's in a bubble and doesn't care every, about everybody every else. Bad person, every bad community is just in their own separate bubble, and we just don't interact with each other. I like that idea. It's that's it. That's, idea. that's the human condition. You have to find your group of people. Yeah. Uh, I guess we did. This has been yeah. discussing discussing the universe with Drake and Ty. I'm Drake. I'm Ty. And, uh, Ty. Tune in next week when we talk about the sun How is the lame. sun is lame. Yeah. yeah. See you guys then.